So, hello, good morning, and I'm coming down after four days of leaving the um, the camera traps, the trail cams out. Um, so I'm coming down to the first one I left at the fallen tree to see if there's anything on it. And uh, um, make a decision as to whether I'm going to leave it out, whether I might set up the camera trap. And uh, yeah, so we're here. Thankfully, it's still there. So I'll just um, go and have a look at it, see what's on it. Okay. So the good news is that it has recorded plenty of activity. Uh, 41 recordings, most of which have something on them. Um, there's a couple which are just uh, birds and probably some moving leaves that set it off. But the majority have lots of jackal. Um, uh, there's a couple with badger. And there's a few, good few, with the beech martin. So that's a really positive thing. I'm still not entirely convinced about leaving it here, about how I'm going to set it up, the camera trap that is, because it is so exposed and the buffalo have been down here. There's evidence everywhere of it. So I'm kind of worried about that. And it might just be a case of me coming down every evening to set it up uh, whenever I can. And then just um, coming back in the morning, every morning, to take it down again before the buffalo come. But uh, yeah, right, I'm going to go off to the other one by the river and see if there's anything on that one. So I'll catch up with you there. Okay, so I'm close to the location of the second trail camp <clears throat> and um, it's actually a different location to the one that you saw me placing it at and the reason for that is that um, we had more heavy rain and because this river was already in flood uh, I got worried that it might be swept away so I came and checked on it after two days uh, at which time there was nothing on it so I relocated it and in all honesty I'm not expecting to find anything on it now either um, uh, like I said it's not a concentrated spot at which animals will be crossing over and you can sort of guarantee that there will be some traffic uh, it's basically positioned along the path that runs next to the river which is used by animals, but I don't think it, it has anywhere near the concentration of traffic that uh, a crossing point would have. So I'm going to come down here into this jungle again and um, see if there's anything on it. If there isn't, I'll probably take it away and try and find another spot. So uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you at the camera. Okay, so predictably enough, there was nothing on it. Um, three files, all of which were me placing it and arriving now to take it away. So as beautiful a location as this is, um, I don't think it's going to be that productive in terms of uh, the camera trap. Uh, I might try when the river is not so swollen. Um, I try further downstream. Next, nearer the lake um, because I have a feeling that's where more animals will be concentrated so yeah um, I'll go back this evening um, to the first spot with the fallen tree 
and um, set up the um, the camera trap there for this evening and I'll basically be going back every day and uh, making sure it's okay uh, it's not a location that I feel I can just leave it out for a week or two and uh, not worry about it um, but hopefully it will produce some results and uh, yeah and I'll bring those to you as soon as I have them so I shall see you again soon be the last time I do that for a while um, because it's too much um, effort for me to come down every single day early in the morning um, and again in the evening to set it out plus I'm contaminating the scene every time I do it which makes it less likely that animals will come through so it's not worth it I think and what I'll do is I'll um, I'll keep this location in mind for the winter uh, when there's uh, no activity down here from the buffaloes and whatnot. Uh, so I'll be back here again. Um, what else? Yeah, um, in terms of the photos, I'm really happy with what it's produced over the last few nights. It's actually quite amazing that um, uh, it has such a good tra uh, traffic of animals that come over that uh, fallen tree. And I've got images that I'm happy with of the jackal, the badger, and the beech martin. So, yeah, um, in terms of how I've been setting it, the first night um, I had it out, I had it set on a on a bulb program um, to to get really long exposures and get more light in the sky. Um, and I had increased the ISO as well. Uh, in that effort to get uh, more light in the sky to 3200 but that proved to be too much uh, both in terms of the exposure uh, the flash was just too strong even at minimum power uh, and also the um, the animals were ghosting really badly um, so basically whatever was behind the foliage that was behind the animal was also being exposed after the flash um, giving the effect of the animal looking see-through uh, which you'll see in a second um, so I switched it for the following nights uh, back to what I had it set for at, um, originally which was just a, a, a basic nighttime and half-light mode um, aperture priority uh, and uh, reduced the ISO back to 1600 which still did give me some pretty decent light in the sky I have to say so I'm quite happy with that so yeah um, like I said I'm gonna I'm not gonna be putting out the camera again for a while uh, because I'm off uh, shooting somewhere else in the next few days so this will be the end of this little series of camera trapping for the moment um, hopefully I will be doing it again in the very near future so yeah I'll still be um, doing my regular vlogs though uh, wildlife photography vlogs so um, look out for those if you're interested in those as well and um, yeah hopefully I shall see you all again soon thank you for watching and uh, liking subscribing and all of that I really do appreciate it um, so yeah See you soon.